February 11, searching questions. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. Psalm 24, 3 and 4. A soul united with Christ will war against all transgression and every approach of sin. He becomes every day more like a bright and shining light and more victorious. He goes on from strength to strength, not from weakness to weakness. Let no one deceive his soul in this matter. If you harbor pride, self-esteem, a love for the supremacy, vain glory, unholy ambition, murmuring, discontent, bitterness, evil speaking, lying, deception, slandering, you have not Christ abiding in your heart. You must have a Christian character that will stand. There must be thorough conversions among those who claim to believe the truth or they will fall in the day of trial. God's people must reach a high standard. They must be a holy nation, a peculiar people, a chosen generation, zealous of good works. Christ has not died for you that you may possess the passions, tastes, and habits of men of the world. No man enters the portals of glory but he who sets his heart thitherward. Then let the questions come home. Do you mind earthly things? Are your thoughts pure? Are you breathing the atmosphere of heaven? Do you carry with you the miasma of pollution? Are you earnest and devoted, serving God with purity and in the beauty of holiness? Ask sincerely, am I a child of God or am I not? We need a thorough reformation in all our churches. The converting power of God must come into the church. Put not off the day of preparation. Slumber not in a state of unpreparedness, having no oil in your vessels with your lamps. Let not the question remain in perilous uncertainty. Ask yourself earnestly, am I among the saved or the unsaved? Shall I stand or shall I not stand? He only that hath clean hands and a pure heart shall stand in that day. It is the privilege of every son of God to be a true Christian moment by moment. Then he has all heaven enlisted on his side.